Hello and welcome to Learning to Breathe. My name's Vicky and today you're joining me for a catch up. Um, as some of you might know, I've been really ill recently and unfortunately that's meant that um, there's been a bit of a break in my videos. And instead of doing a load of videos to catch up, I thought I'd just take you through the little bit of what was left of February and the last two weeks of March. Get you up to date with my lovely budget planner. So I can carry on with March and you can see how my finances have been the last couple of weeks. So get yourself comfy, get yourself a drink and let's get to this. So, as you can see, I have the Carpe Diem Budget Planner. I absolutely love this planner. And we are going to move forward to February. Um, I do believe I was somewhere, like, around here when I had to um, have my break because I was so poorly. Um, my goal for February was to get 15 no spends. As you can see, being poorly actually worked out quite well for me. Um, and I actually ended up with 18 no spends. Um... What I have learnt for my February month is that we spend way too much money on food. We do a big food shop at the start of the week and by the end of the week we're running out of pop, we're running out of things like crisps, that kind of stuff, um, and we're having to top up. Um, I have um, stomach conditions which mean I have to have food from different shops. So we always have a Tesco shop and we always do a small Asda shop, so that's something we count in. Um, but we're finding by the end of the week, as you can see, there are some top-ups. Um, so it's definitely something that I'm trying to improve on. Um, and I have gone forward into March upping our food bill. And then I'm going to try and see what we can take away. So that might seem like a weird way of doing it, but it's how I've done it. So as you can see, this is my monthly layout. There's been a lot of no spends, um, a lot of grocery. Um, this does look like sinking funds, but this is grocery as well, unfortunately. I ran out of my stickers. These were um, ones I found online for free, which I could print off and um, stick it in. I will, of course, put the link in my description bar for anybody who wants to look into them. So yeah, even though it does look like a sinking fund, it's actually not, it's a grocery label. Moving forward to my expenses. Um, the only thing I will say is, it looks very small from here so even though over on my monthly layout it did look like we'd spent quite a lot it didn't even fill one page of my expense tracker so yeah we've spent way too much on groceries and we had that little takeaway um but it was literally the only thing i spent last month we we had a very small spend month anybody's interested this is my weekly check-in and um, the stickers are from the budgeting planner again i will leave her descriptions in the link um i've done week one to week two at the top we only did groceries week three we had groceries a small spending a miscellaneous takeaway um the groceries i had 27 pounds and 14 pence left for the week spending i had nothing left for the week miscellaneous um came out of our miscellaneous fund and i don't count it and then takeaway um I actually can't remember what fund that came out of, so I just put minus. Um, groceries I actually haven't done, but that came out of two weeks, so that was £90 each, so that's 180 So then whatever's left is from 180 which, to be honest, I'm not going to work out now, because that was from last month. Um, so yeah, that is the weekly che check-in of that month. Um, usually, obviously, I'd be a bit more precise this one, but obviously I was poorly, and it all kind of got messed up. Um, the next page is the side hustle. Um, I've already done a video for the February side hustle. I will leave a link in the description and in the cards. Um, so make sure to check that out after you've watched this video so you can see what I made out of my February side hustles. So, so far for March, I'm going from the 1st of March and so far I'm up to the 13th. Um, anything after that you will have in weekly check-ins. As you can see, I've got a lot of no spend days. I am carrying on with my tradition of doing whatever the month beforehand was for no spend days. So as I had 18 no spend days last month, I have 18 no spend days to do this month. So can I be 18 no spend days? So now let's just do a quick check in to see where I am for the month. Um, because it's a bit different, I'm starting my first week from Tuesday the 1st of March, and that is up till the 6th. Let me just double check that's actually what I've done before I say that and it's wrong. Please hold. Yes, it is what I've done. So yeah, 1st of March to the 6th. So as you can see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday were no spend days. On the 4th, my husband passed his HGV class two 
license I think it's called um so to celebrate we ordered in a pizza we were going to go out for a meal but he was really tired he'd had a long week and um I was still recovering so um we got some money from at some people aren't going to agree with this but we took money out of our emergency fund and you'll understand why in a minute and because it had already been kind of demolished I was like screw it you've just passed something you've been trying to do for almost a year worth celebrating so um he had a pizza hut um unfortunately on his way back from the um exam the car decided to give up not the best way to celebrate passing an exam and to get that fixed and then unfortunately we had some other bills come up we've had to take it out of our emergency fund um so that's kind of why i was just like you know what we can get the pizza out of that as well it's cost us a fortune yeah. altogether that cost 218 pounds and eight pence i believe i think it's cut off um so it was quite a spendy day i did continue to put my five pounds into the saving challenge that i'm currently doing this is my version of the penny challenge after that, on the Saturday, we had a no-spend day because we'd already spent enough. And then on the 6th, we did the big food shop, which was £90.80. And, and that would have been the first weekly check-in done. To continue, on the 7th, this would have been the start of the next week. Uh, we'd gone to Asda to get some of the bits we needed. Um, as I said before, some food I can only have from certain shops. So that cost £7.25. Um, we went to see the Foo Fighters film, and that was at the Arc Cinema, and that cost £10.55. That was already um, planned, because we really wanted to see the film. It was the only, only place we could go. And then um, Funky Pigeon, I bought my Mother's Day card, I bought a birthday card, and I got my husband a well done card. So I was quite proud that I got all that for £5.89. Um, usually I'm quite planned, but I haven't been able to go out. Um, so more expensive than I usually pay for cards, but I will let it go this time. 8th and 9th was no spend days, the 10th was £9.85 from Tesco, um, as you can see these are different colours than usual, I have found these online for free, unfortunately I have not had the money to buy my stickers this month, and as usual I have run out of my grocery ones, um, I will put the website down, um, and all I do is print them off and cut them and stick them down. 12th, my husband needed some medication from Tesco, um, his, his medication does not come through prescriptions, so unfortunately he has to come out of our miscellaneous fund. We also decided to get HelloFresh for the week, um, so we um, took that out of our miscellaneous fund. And we would have took it out of our grocery fund, but unfortunately we needed to top up on like household stuff. So there just wasn't enough to do both. So we were like, okay, we'll get it out of our miscellaneous fund and then the household stuff can come out of our grocery fund. Which, talking of, was on the 13th and that was Tesco again and that was £87.21. And now, my dears, we are up to date. So from some point next week you will get weekly check-ins from me again hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed that my health decides to play ball for a little bit um as you can see i have set this up so i've got some nice washi at the bottom i've got my key and then i put these because you know i want to try and get back to this you know i really enjoy doing these videos and i really want to get back to bringing them out for you my expenses i've already laid out so if you want to read them you can. and as usual i will keep doing them during other videos so as I was saying before, unfortunately this month I've not been able to afford the stickers I usually buy. At some point I will go back to them, I love them dearly. Um, but yeah, it, it was just unfortunate at the start of the month I just didn't have them. Um, so I was doing a bit of googling online and I found a free template. It's quite cute, it matches with my um, planner quite well. There's a couple of bits that I wouldn't use but for something that was free, um, I will leave all the links below, I will credit everybody, you know, this person's very kindly is giving this out for free and I appreciate it <laughs> and it's working for what I need to do so I've put out the grocery um, emergency fund is including pizza and the stuff we've had to take out for bills and the car and then for week two um, I've got my groceries and then what we added for HelloFresh because obviously that came from miscellaneous but I thought I'd just add it in because obviously it's all together the spending on the cards and then the miscellaneous spending going to the cinema which was the weirdest film if you've gone to see the Foo Fighters if you're a Foo Fighters fan leave a comment below because it was the weirdest film but you know if Foo Fighters would you expect anything else so that is the weekly expenses completed um I am going to show you what I've done for side hustles please do not judge me um I've not been able to obviously get my stickers but I still wanted to be able to do my side hustles <laughs> um 
anyone who has an Etsy shop, anyone who does this as a, as a career, um, do not fear. I will not be opening a shop anytime soon. That is not my future. <laughs> do not mock what I have done. It's the best I could do. So good old Google Docs. I've got my nice little side hustle sign and I've got my nice little category and amount. And then I've done another little one to put further down. It's basic, it's what I needed. And to be honest, I was proud I even managed to get that done. <laughs> so yes, um, no, no spectacular stuff from me this month, but you know, I'm doing quite well on my side hustles this month. I've already done a market research. I'm doing quite well on surveys. I've sold a couple of things. So hopefully I'll have some nice things to put down here so it doesn't look so dodgy. But it makes me laugh. So what else could you ask for? But yes, my friends, that is me caught up now. That is me all caught up for March. Um, it's probably not going to be a very long video, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it's only a little one, but I just thought I'd catch you up with what I've been doing with my um, money. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I would really love to hit 250 subscribers by the end of the month. And um, I will see you again in a video really soon. Bye, guys.